humans find biologically attractive and apparently it's about the symmetry of your face and your body and uh, some that does something chemically in your brain where uh, you, you you tend to find that person more attractive it's something that st we started as a passion project four weeks ago the simple idea was to get one of india's foremost independent singer songwriters to pick her choice of five songs that she's heard that particular week that she wants to share with you there is no particular order there is not a countdown this is not a countdown so we don't say this song is better than the other and dot has been magnanimous enough to not include any of her songs on the list so we urge you to go to dot the youtube channel and actually check out her videos and also stream her music dot great to see you and thank you for this wonderful ride thank you for having me Now I want to talk about Mrs. Pearson. I mean, a song that I—it was actually my first introduction to your music, uh -huh. and I went, "Wow, man! Look at this song writing. It is so mature and evolved. I don't think any singer-songwriter thinks their own work is as evolved as mature and mature. <laughs> it's only the fans who think that." <laughs> so, and it's actually a teacher of yours, yeah? Yeah, she is. Mm. Yeah. Uh, um, in fact, I reconnected with her recently over this um, because. You know, she's. I think she's somewhere in China right now, teaching in another school. Um, and uh, yeah, and and uh, her, uh, she was she was my psychology teacher in uh, like eleventh or twelfth, I think, in in high school. And uh, she did this one lesson where um, she talked about what people find biologically, what what humans find biologically attractive. And apparently, it's about the symmetry of your face and your body, and uh, some that does something chemically in your brain where uh, you, you you tend to find that person more attractive. Um, the response, my response to that was to to go home after class, look at myself in the mirror, and kind of see how symmetrical I was, and that's how the song came about. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Go check it out, please. And you've also done another version of it in the Archie soundtrack, yes, haven't you? Yes, yeah, yeah. So we tweaked, we yeah. tweaked some of the lyrics so that it kind of made sense for the for the narrative of the film, and it became a duet. And it became a duet. Yeah. Yes. So go <laughs> check that out, Asymmetrical. That's uh, a Dot's passion project that I talked about. Onward, ho! To five songs that she's going to introduce us to this week. This is from her hometown, Delhi. <laughs> That's where Dot lives. She's been kind enough to come to Mumbai, film this, and record this with us. A band called the Revisit Project, and a song attractively titled "Did You Just Assume My Fender?" Now, the Revisit Project plays old school funk, rhythmic jazz. They've been around for ten years now, and uh, the best way to describe them is funk jazz fusion. The first album was called "Here We Go." It happened in 2017. Uh, Brown Man's Funk and Born in Delhi happened in 2019. I leave the rest to you. Why this song? Why this band? So I um, again, this is one of the bands I'd never kind of heard of, and then while researching for the show, I came across them, and um, I spoke to uh, to Abhay, who fronts the band, and I asked him to talk a little bit about the song. It's a very funky track, really fun to listen to, um, and they've become kind of a staple in Delhi. I I, I understand. Uh, so he he talks about um, he, he he started talking about how the band was uh, formed. Initially, they were playing these corporate shows, um, uh, kind of uh, tribute uh, a tribute to old Indian composers. So S. D. Burman, A. R. Rahman. So they would do the Hindi greats. composers yeah. in their own jazz way. No, wow. no, I, I'm not sure exactly. Uh, he didn't really make that clear, but it was um, th they played these corporate shows to earn money. And then uh, the second step to their plan was um, to kind of funnel it back into their own music, and uh, that is something that all of us kind of are familiar with. All of us indie musicians are uh, doing stuff for the money that then kind of gets True. funneled back in. And uh, he he talks about uh, how uh, the band members just kept leaving. Uh, it's a very I guess corporate bands when you set them up, they're kind of different to. Um, To to your band that tours sure. with you and all that. Yeah. So um, he talked about how members kept coming and going, and and it kind of became like a Game of Thrones situation. Uh, and uh, and then now they've kind kind of finally settled into their groove, and uh, they've become a lot tighter, and uh, it's evident in the music. <laughs> nice, wonderful. These little nuggets and stories that Dot gives us. That little red, red maroon diary there. That's the one she writes a lot of songs in. 
that's the one she's been talking to indie artists and getting a perspective on the songs that she's picking and giving us these extra little bit a bits and nuggets now if you followed the last episode and the episode before that you know that dark loves ranj and clifford this uh, wonderful duo make a combination of blues and rap music and this time it's a song called work the last track she picked was conversation this one is called work what is it about work that struck you when you said You've got to get Ranjan Kripa back for another one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, similar to some of the other songs we've been talking about, like uh, um, Outlast, that they just song. Um, it's just it's it's talking about uh, the grit of of the job that we all do, and uh, kind of putting your head down and getting it done. And uh, uh, yeah, I really love it. It's a as per usual a banger. A banger by the R and B uh, music duo Ranj and Kripa. Uh, also extended listening for you if you missed the last episode another track called conversation this one of course is called work so do go and check it out chirag todi <clears throat> interesting pick on dots indie top 5 this particular week chirag is um, a songwriter composer guitarist based in ahmedabad and if you remember in episode 1 of dots indie top 5 we picked an artist called meera desai mm-hmm. who left new york city came back to her hometown ahmedabad and started making some great music chirag uh, was a primary member of a band called heat sync they were selected by nexa music as one of the original english acts in the country they worked with people like ar rahman and tindin sereo making music and then one thing led to another the cover of rolling stones magazine the cover of a spotify radar india playlist and chirag's compositions are wide ranging there's jazz there's progressive rock talk to me about this particular one love nobody and it does feature feature your favorite ranj and ramya pothuri so have you worked with chirag met him yes i worked with him on a track called spice lemonade mm-hmm. which was uh, my first real collaboration collaborative effort uh, with an indie artist and uh, back then i was in wales and he was all the way in ahmedabad and we kind of did everything online and and uh, the track turned out great so I'm really happy i met him and i think um chirag has been one of those people um who, who taught me a very direct lesson i don't know if he knows that he did that um but he he taught me a very direct lesson about being open to um all sorts of things um all sorts of influences when it comes to music he's collaborated with everybody he's the one person in the industry who just he he has a song yeah there's an artist you know you name it he's collaborated with them um and uh, i was a, a very timid sort of person when it came to working with other people i was always very guarded around my music and um i i, I felt very intimidated working with uh, i i always thought that the other person was so much better than me and so much more accomplished and i could never kind of uh put my best foot forward then in the writing room but uh, with chirag it, it, i saw how easy it, it could be to uh to to work with all sorts of people and uh, and i deve- i started at that point when we did spice lemonade to develop um uh, a language of uh, a commun- a communication strategy to use when i'm working with other people and uh, so yeah thanks chirag for that how sweet <laughs> that's amazing he was open enough receptive enough to accept her the way she is and spurred her on to high glory and i think that's the tricky part about a collaboration two people with different personalities different styles coming together you have to be open you have to be patient you have to give the other person room as much as you want that room So please go check that out. Chirag Tori's Love Nobody featuring Ramya and Ranj. Really interesting artist, Anushka Maski. Now, Anushka is basically Sikkimese. She filters between Sikkim and Mumbai. She plays the guitar and the ukulele. The ukulele has become such a fashionable instrument to play. So many people picking it up and and playing it. Uh and the music is an almost warm nostalgic feeling. And what I love about Anushka is she's a storyteller. We play mm. a fair bit of her music. Uh she we were talking about Ankur Tiwari who was the curator of the Archi soundtrack and Gully Boy. Uh Anushka is mentored by Ankur Tiwari. She also opened for Pratik Kohar on his 2021 winter tour. And through the pandemic, she made some amazing music on the plight of of migrant workers and their mental health. So I as one artist uh you know to another what is it that you you find fascinating about anushka and her process 
master. She's a master of words. She's a wordsmith, um, similar to I guess Mira Desai in that kind of uh, in that way. Um, and her voice, my God, it's uh, it, it transports you. Um, she's got a really, really draws you in. Um, and I was talking about this particular song. It's I, a song yeah. called "The Search for Wild Geese." featuring cosmic grooves, the search for wild geese, Anushka Maski. I've had more heartbreak in friendship than in romantic relationships, and the song is drawn from getting screwed over in friendships. Screwed over in friendships. Yeah. We've all been there, and it's wonderful when we have music to accompany our feeling, uh, to, you know, to soothe us like a balm, and that's really wonderful. So that's Anushka Maski, the search for wild geese. And remember, music can join hearts and Indian singer-songwriters are right up there and making the kind of music that you only thought the national stars were capable of. I mean, it's wonderful, which is why today at Radio 1, we play a Pratik Kuhar along with a John Mayer. We play a uh, Mali along with an Adele. And these artists that uh, Dot has put us on to, we're going to start playlisting them on a more regular basis. Okay, episode number five and song number five. It's not a countdown, but this is one of the most exciting artists. Aditi Veena, a.k.a. Ditti. Ditti is what a singer-songwriter name is. She's currently in Goa, and there's a very interesting video of this song that Dot has picked out where she's done a live version, an acoustic version in a forest in Goa. And uh, Aditi, by profession, is an urban ecologist. I mean, she feels deeply about the ecology and the environment. In daytime, she's an urban ecologist and a musician by night. She wants her songs also to reflect an organic, earthy quality. She talks extensively about organizing carbon neutral tours. Mm -hmm. Coldplay was talking about it, about how they want to be carbon neutral whenever they tour any place. So talk to me about uh, Aditi, aka Ditti. And what song have you picked? Uh, I picked a song called Money. Um, initially, I was kind of torn between uh, this song and another song um, by her called Hold Me. Um, but I picked this song because I heard it recently. It's one of her recent, um, it's part of her new EP that's come out. Um, and I put it on in the, in the auto, driving back from somewhere late at night. And I was just sobbing listening to this song because it just, it just, one of those things that just hit me. And, uh, um, I think for me, what it meant to me um, is that I, I started to realize all the things that I was getting caught up in, um, which weren't the thing that I that my heart was in. And uh, um, I well, don't lots know. Lots of times you get caught up in the peripherals. Exactly. And we lose sight of the primary focus, the goal. Yeah. So it it kind of brought me back to myself. And uh, yeah, it's very special lyric writing. Also, the production on this song is incredible. It's uh, she's got these like bird sounds and nature yeah, things. Yeah, it and sounds, starts it, with nature sounds. Yeah, right. it kind of like gets incorporated into the beat and it's it's really novel and I've not heard anything like it coming out of here. So, very special song to end with. Lovely. Four weeks, 20 tracks. Tell us what you feel about it. Songs that you didn't know and when you heard, they made a difference to your life. Like she said, sometimes you're scattered and a song or music brings you back, centers you. Sometimes your heart gets broken by a friend and music heals. And sometimes it's a plain profession. Got to work at it day after day after day. And Indian musicians singing in English, writing in English are destined to, to really shatter the glass ceiling, move forward and become popular around the world. Uh, Dot, it's been such a special few weeks and thank you very much for your time, your patience for uh, introducing us to this wonderful set list of yours. Thank you so list. much for having me. This has been quite a blast and uh, I, I got the opp opportunity to talk to um, all of these artists in the process and I feel like it kind of brought me a little closer to the indie music scene in India right now. So, thank you. Tell us what you think. 9833-943-943 on WhatsApp. 9833-943-943 or the comments here at 94.3 Radio 1 India on Instagram. You can inbox us. Please check out Dot's music on streaming uh, services as well as on YouTube. It's just Dot, D-O-T. And of course, Dot on the syllables on Instagram. So, from me, Rishi K, and Radio 1, it's bye-bye. 94.3 Radio 1.